Hi and welcome to part 31 of ASP.NET MVC Core tutorial and on this part we are going to start implementing the ordering process. So we are going to start this implementation by first implementing the ordering models. For that let's go to the data folder. Inside the data folder we have the models folder and this is the folder where we put all our models. Let's create a new model which is just a simple C# -sharp class and we are going to name it order.c# -sharp. So each order is going to have its own ID and for each order we are going to have the first name of the person who is making the order. The same way we are going to have the last name as well. You could add more details to an order like for example the zip code. I'm just going to paste them in here. And what's the most important for an order is the details for that order. So for this I'm going to add a new property which is a list of order detail and we name it order lines. The order detail will hold properties like the order ID, like the drink ID and what was the amount from that drink and what was the price for that drink that the user actually bought. So let's create another model inside the models folder. We are going to name it order detail and inside let's add all the necessary properties. First we need to add the identifier for this order detail. We are going to add the order ID and the drink ID, the amount of that drink and the price for that drink. And the last two properties make it possible for the entity framework to understand the relation between an order and an order detail. Since the values of order and order detail are going to be saved on the database, we need to include these two models on our appdb context file. So we need to add two additional db sets, one db set for the order and we are going to name this orders. And the other one is going to be a db set for our order detail and we name it order details. Since we changed our database schema, we need to publish these changes to our database and for that we need to first create a migration and after the migration has been created, we update the database. So let's go to the manager console and in here we write add migration. The migration was successfully executed, so a new file named orders, which is the name of our migration, has been created. And now execute the command update database. And the changes were reflected to the database schema as well. So this is all for this part and on the next part we are going to add the orders controller. So thank you for watching and see you on the next part.